Do you believe in God? No. Do you have any reasons that you think of to be skeptical about the existence of God? Pretty much just like everything that you see going on around here. Like all everyone who's homeless, everyone who's dying. The Bible was written, what, 400 years after the events took place? I mean, if somebody tells you a story and then tells you the same story two weeks, generally things change and then we're gonna be going over a four century period. It's really hard to get things accurate. It's just something that makes people feel better about their existence. There's no <laughs> magical thing in the sky because scientists um, like did studies, it's not real. It's just a lack of proof. You ever had major questions about life, about God and religion, and what about science and all that we've learned in our textbooks? Hasn't that disproven some of what we know and yet what do we do with the pain and the suffering that we do in life? I mean, you ever had those big questions, but never had a safe place to be able to talk about it or express those doubts or wrestle with all of that? Well, here's what we have done at our church. We provided an environment that we call the problem of God that provides that safe place for people to talk about it in a conversational environment where they don't feel like truth is just bombarding them, but a place where they don't feel judged or condemned, a, a safe place for them to express doubts. Uh, it's a conversation and we invite you into that conversation. Now, just in case you're skeptical, but you're interested, I want to point you to Mark and his story and what happened in his life when he went through the problem of God conversation. So check out Mark's story. Pain and suffering was what I what I needed to explore because that was my my challenge with with God. How can somebody be there if they allow all these evil things to happen? We got involved with the group at that point, and that was huge. But right off the bat, I, I started to feel something change. Just this desire to to really explore. We dove into it to explore. You know, what are the possibilities? What does the Bible actually say about this? And I remember when I openly said out loud. I'm an atheist, I don't, I don't believe like this. If I did believe, this is why it didn't make sense to me. And uh, not once did I feel judged. The idea of, I don't have to believe you said that too, that if you don't believe, if you're on a journey, if you haven't even started it, you're, you're safe here. We can explore that, come and talk to us. We are a group of imperfect people that get together and celebrate Jesus. Something along those lines. And I, I, that something about that comment hit me. I said, imperfect people. Man, if that's not a description of me. So that was the initial experience with the well for me, was, was just trying to figure out how to get in and, and accepting that I could be safe somewhere even if I didn't believe. Just the desire to, to want to be part of something. Topics like this can be incredibly intimidating, especially if you don't feel safe in a conversation like that. So here's what we promise. We promise to treat you not as an outsider, but as a friend and respect where you're coming from, regardless of what your beliefs are. We provide a conversational environment where uh, people can express their doubts and wrestle with them in a respectful way. And here's what we believe. When we're just a part of that conversation together, everyone gets better. Everyone gets better. So there's a couple ways for you to sign up. You can let us know in the comments below or text doubts to 97000 and we'll get a conversation started with you. We love this environment. We'd love to invite you to be a part of that. Uh, you can sign up in one way or another and we hope to see you there.